Police has not been served. As police still search for a man they believe is involved in a shooting death that took a young father. His grandmother talked to News Channel 5's Frank Wiley. Frank? Yeah, lady, she told me he was more than a father. He was a college athlete, a mentor, and in this case, a victim. More than a year ago marked the start of a lifetime nightmare. A grandmother's eldest gone, but never forgotten. Grief began following Dorothea Garrett in October of 2014 and continues to walk in step with her. The bullet went straight through his heart. Hers has been heavy ever since that night at the Lavish Ultra Lounge, a hookah bar shootout. It followed a fight that Dorothea says David Garrett had nothing to do with. They was out trying to have a nice time. David and his girlfriend. He was 26. The former Kansas State football player crosses his granny's mind often. <sighs> the matriarch resets, composes, and repeats daily because she wears a mask of strength that consoles everyone else. It's hard to let go. I don't think I'll ever let go. Proof in the shrine that is her apartment. She often looks at David when he was full of life. Police have arrested Barry Blevins in connection to the crime, but Jean Blevins is still out there. Turn yourself in. Tonight, David would have made 28. I still talk like he's, he's with us. He's just not in our presence. A college graduate working in the justice system. He worked with teens, too, but the streets he tried to save them from took him. And a free trial hearing has been set for Barry Blevins for Tuesday morning. Danita.